Okay, we're getting ready to do a little campfire cooking. We're gonna make some chili out here today at the campsite at the Bennett's. I have my mother-in-law here, my wife's videoing, and my little one's up playing on the swing. But we're gonna make chili, and I have two pounds of hamburger meat, some old Hammett chili seasoning, Rotel, a few chili beans. We have our onions already diced up, and just for me, I have some habanero and jalapeno peppers that we're going to uh, mix in. I'll be kind of walking you along this today. The first thing you have to do is heat up that cast iron a little bit and get it ready. And then we'll come back and start cooking. Okay, we've got our meat cooking good here. And one thing I always like to do when I cook over a campfire, if I can, is have two different zones. This is the hot zone here where there's a few more coals. And then if it gets too hot, I can always move it back over to the other side to help cool it down. And that will definitely help you from burning your food because you do not want to do that. We have our hamburger cooked down pretty good. There's still a little pink in it. I've drained the grease off, but I like to have just a little bit of pink in there to get a little grease when I'm going to cook down my onions and my garlic. So I have my onions diced up ahead of time and get those guys in there and adds a lot of good flavor. And this way you can kind of cook down pretty good before we go to our next phase. All right, everything's looking good. Our onions are starting to cook down. And when they get kind of shiny, that's when I know it's time to add my other ingredients here and I have my can of Rotel. I like to add, you don't have to, but I like it. And then my beans, a little chili sauce here, get those dumped in. We'll get that all heated up in there and then we'll add our seasoning. This is the order that I like to use. Okay, getting ready to add my old Hammett seasoning. And what I like to do is I sprinkle it over the top and I'll go through two or three different rounds of this because I do not measure, because when you measure, you do not get to taste it and see if it needs more. Just stir it around good and add you a little water and you'll be in business. Okay, we've been simmering here for a few minutes. And, oh yeah, it's looking good. And that's just about the way that I like it. If you want it thicker, just don't have as much water or cook it down a little more, but I do not like too runny. That's looking good, so we're fixing to give it a shot. All right, the finished product here, and I just sprinkled a few habanero pieces in here with some jalapeno pieces. The habaneros I got from our state champion cross country coach, Eric Weems. That's right, it's gonna light it up. Light it up, cause spicy, go spicy or go home. 